start of a really tough run of fixtures. Um, how do you approach uh, these coming games? Is it just about focusing on Derby or are you looking at these in terms of a, a block of games? Okay, right now, today, tomorrow, uh, it's only the focus of Derby. Uh, we will not uh, uh, make some decisions because of the uh, upcoming uh, games in, in, in the next weeks or in the next week, but we know that we have now uh, three games in seven days. Uh, for this, it's good that Scans uh, is back in this week with the whole trainings week. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, he will be back uh, in in the next week uh, without any problems. That Ems comes back, uh, that Phil Billing will be uh, back for the uh, Burnley game uh, after his suspension. So this helps us to uh, make sure that we are able to rotate like we did in the past. Because I think we 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 saw, for example, on on last Saturday that. The players who come comes in fresh uh, in this uh, hard week with three games in a in in a seven days, for example, Jason Davidson uh, did a good job. Um, uh, Lynchy uh, arrested did a good job. So uh, we had to, Kyle Kyle Dempsey did a good job when when he came in. So I think for us it's important that we have uh, enough players back. Uh, enough players not only back, enough players not only health, enough players fit. Uh, in a good form and, and that at the moment or, or, or not at the moment that up to now everybody knows what you have to do in our uh, idea in our, in our game in our philosophy this is, this is clear this is a basic and we have now to make sure that everybody is, is fit and in form and uh, especially in this week where we have three games uh, in seven days it's important that we have a, a big group where we can make good decisions and make, can make sure that everybody is fresh when he when he is on the pitch. Fairly well-rounded team, Derby. A solid back four and we've got some strikers that can really put away some goals. What are you expecting from them? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a football playing team. It isn't a typical British uh, style they, they, they play. So they try to play on the pitch. Uh, what we have to make sure is uh, that we don't offer them the spaces uh, to play on the pitch, that we keep it tight, that we are very uncomfortable, uh, that it's it's hard for them to to play on the pitch. That we are always there. We we yeah we have to to be uh, uh, real terriers in the defense, and um, with with this idea, um, yeah, to be aggressive, to be to be a real terrier in the defense. I think we are always able to create something something uh, own in our offensive and um, this will be very important that we make sure that they uh, didn't enjoy or doesn't enjoy to play against us. And you've gone past the 20 league matches mark, always a nice benchmark to have a look at where Huddersfield Town are and, and where you are as well. I mean how much progress do you think you've made with Huddersfield Town and what have you made to, to your first 20 games? To be honest, that this is new information for me. That this is now my twentieth game. I think uh, we all together have a, have a good feeling that we are on the right way. Uh, so that's it. I think we 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 created our philosophy. We created our style. We know we are. We have to work on it. We know that we uh, again uh, know each other better from day to day. What is very important to make uh, decisions for the future as well. Uh, and we have to find uh, solutions for the one or other uh, or, or answers for the one or other question for example what we will do with the replacement for, for, for Hoggy uh, but all together I think uh, we all together have the, have the feeling we are on a good way and um, we, we are exciting for, for, for the future but um, to think about a long-term project, it is always important. And you make sure that in the present, you you, you be you be there. But uh, we know that we have to make uh, a lot of good uh, decisions in in the future, and we know that we have a lot of work to do. And finally, just to catch up on a couple of players, Elvis Manu and Kareem Matmore, how they settle in? Oh, in the group and 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 here in in in. In Huddersfield, in the Yorkshire area, I think he, he settled in very well. Um, I think he, 
he needs this playing time because he was out for half a year without uh, playing football. And uh, it will be exciting uh, for me to see how he develops in the next uh, two and a half months when he gets fitter and fitter. Uh, I think in the last week he uh, did a good job against uh, uh, MK Dance, where in my opinion he was one of our best players in a, in a worst team in this moment. But uh, then you as well saw uh, in the last game against Ipswich that he was tired, so that he wasn't able to bring his performance uh, uh, four days after uh, the last game again. And this is what we have to make sure to build up his fitness, that he's able to play uh, two games or three games in a week, uh, or to give him the right break uh, in the right moment. <laughs>